Um, but yeah, if we can do like little elevator pitches of who our characters are so we can work out some kind of shared background, that would be excellent. Let's go. go alphabetical. So, Ant, you're up first. Who's the boy? Okay, so my character is Arwen Spellweaver. He is a gnome. He is uh, an individual who has spent his time living in the upper city, being raised quite wealthily, having access to quite a few of the, the, li the libraries that he needs, the uh, information to magical tomes, etc. He is a very inquisitive individual, very curious individual, naturally. He is someone who likes to investigate the unknown, the things that aren't quite normal, especially things to do with magic. He has been working in the local um, School of the Arcane Arts as a, a sort of professor in the arcane, having spent his time through there being quite the prodigy when it comes to magic. He has, within the town, he's quite friendly with the guards and quite friendly with individuals, and they would know him as Possibly the contact you would go to a thing if there was anything strange going on, anything a bit that they weren't quite sure of, anything unusual, because he likes to investigate that sort of thing. Um, do you want to know if he's got any connections with existing party members, Lisa? Uh, sure, we can do that. So it will come up, but he has a connection with Lissa that um, he has been... Um, I want to, the, Arwen wants to say studying, but there is a friendship there, um, working uh, alongside Lissa in a sort of him being the wizard, Lissa being almost like an apprentice for the, for the, in that scenario, helping them understand who they are, learning about what they can do and their magics, because you'll learn from when uh, Gigi speaks. But yeah, that's basically about him. So yeah, he is a wizard from what you would know. What does he teach? So basically, he teaches uh, magical formulae, the incantations, the mechanics behind magic. Um, he is one who never chose a, uh, doesn't feel that the traditions that are being imposed upon him work specifically about him. He doesn't believe that he needs to have a specific tradition. He wants to understand how arcane formulae work and how the incantations came to be rather than just this is how you say fireball so you should always say fireball so he teaches almost like it's like musical theory but it would be like arcane theory in that respect cool cool all right so what is alphabetical dan you're next go <laughs> oh god <laughs> You may refer to me as um, Lord Von Roche, Lord Alaric if we know each other well, or simply my lord if you wish to save time. Alaric Von uh, Roche is the <laughs> son of a uh, eccentric noble house with some interesting arcane pursuits. Um, he's naturally more inclined to sort of more practical matters never quite believed the uh, fully in his family's uh, his family's particular doctrine when, <laughs> when it comes to his um uh, when it comes to sort of arcane pursuits uh prefers to have an understanding of more practical matters uh but has recently come into some strange abilities the means by which she's not entirely certain of but he's all right to embrace them if it serves his own means um, generally has an interest in uh, pursuing political power within the city and uh, seeking out ways to uh, correct what he sees as a misguided um, uh, uh, trajectory for his family's future. And he's an asshole. <laughs> when you say recently come into abilities, how hmm. recently? Like... Probably within the last couple weeks. Fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> Would you like to have come upon these abilities precisely on your birthday? <laughs> that wouldn't that be good? Yes, of course. <laughs> All right, and how old are you? Uh, he is, I think I said 23. 23 sounds okay. about right. So he's he's a young man. He's not. He doesn't fully have the, uh, hey, Gray, I'll kill you. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have fully understanding. He's probably, uh, he's probably not as smart as he thinks he is. But, you know, he's got some stuff going for him. So we'll see where it goes. And he also probably uh, at least knows or has some connection to academically uh, uh, Arwen, uh, both being somewhat in the field of knowing about arcane stuff and being intellectual, but um, that Arwen would know about uh, uh, the Von Rausch's strange... Is it Von Rausch? I had this conversation with myself. Is it Von Rausch or Von Roche? I think I prefer Von are, Rausch. Are you, going, are you going more French or are you going more German? More German. Rausch. Rausch. Von Rausch in that Rausch, case. Rausch, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and that's about my character, pretty much. All right, this motherfucker. This Gray, motherfucker. This motherfucker right here. All right, Gray, are you good to go? Yeah. Tell us about um, your son or daughter. Or uh, this progeny. is my mom. <laughs> oh, this is your mom. <laughs> this is my mom. Um, so, you, you, you know that, uh, her name is Requiem, and, uh, it's a bit unnerving that you've never seen her face, and that the most skin that you can see on her is her hands, and sometimes her, her tail sticks out of the back of her dress. Um, yeah, she's just, a uh, a very, very, very tall horned woman in white robes with a veil over her head. And, um, it's, it's clear to see that she's, uh, very religious, although, uh, you haven't been able to get out of her quite what god she follows, and none of the symbology you've seen on her person is any of the gods that any of you would probably recognize. Um, yeah, uh, ac acolyte background, grew up in the church, has kind of always been in the church, uh, probably took a bit of an interest in, uh, our wins, just like general scholarliness, uh, because uh, Requiem is a historian, and uh, yeah, that's probably why she has been included in the group. She has approximate knowledge of many things. Important question. Yes. Is the veil draped over the horns, or are there cutouts? Uh, it depends on the day. Sometimes it's draped over the horns, sometimes there are cutouts, and uh, one of her horns is jacked up. It's just cut off at a part. Alright. Is she originally from Baldur's Gate? Uh, I'm sure that she knows, but Greg ha doesn't. Uh, Alright, cool. Greg that can be figured out later. Yeah, I haven't had a lot of time recently. <laughs> That's very valid. All right, journey. Uh, my character's name is Istoling. He is not originally from Baldur's Gate. He is a drow from the Underdark, but he did not agree with the lifestyle of most of his people and eventually found his way into the dancing arms of Illustrie. Or however you say that name, because I can't pronounce it. Oh, I I Illustre? That one. That one. The... According to the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> The, the silver flame or the dancing drow, however you want to know her. Jeez. Oh god, there's various pronunciations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christ. Yep. 
So he found his way into her embrace and left the Underdark. And he made his way to the top side where he eventually met a wizard who he fell in love with. They ended up being married. And he's lived in Baldur's Gate uh, in the lower city for a while before quite recently his husband was murdered. And his personality sort of took on a very bit of a different change because he lost that light in his life. He used to be a very open, standing protector, uh, quiet, and now he's moody and dark, and he doesn't really stand well with idiots or people who are pompous or jackasses. He oh, is no. more liable to punch someone in the face nowadays. A broken nose will give you character. <laughs> um, he is still a fierce advocate for protecting the people of the outer city and the lower city and has been often inserting himself into the middle of arguments between nobles and commoners and has come to be seen as sort of a, not a pillar of the community because he refuses limelight and spotlight, but he... He's more like, I guess you could say, a upstanding vigilante who doesn't take shit from the nobles. He's an activist. Exactly. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, JJ. Okay. Well, last but least is uh, Lissa. Uh, she looks like a small green half-elf. And um, at the moment, she's just following Alwyn around a lot, helping him do whatever he wants to do. Uh, they don't have any memories after the last uh, couple of months. Um, before that, it's all mostly blank. And uh, they are very sweet and curious and try to be optimistic but they give off a, a creepy aura when doing some of the magic all right what kind of magic is she down with um mostly mind stuff telepathy and things like that all right um is there anything that like she's done for work in the past like what's her day-to-day -day like um, in the past few weeks, months, just um, helping Alwyn with research and reading and stuff like that. She doesn't have a day job. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So. Shit, I gotta find the thing. I had the start of the adventure open, but not the history thing open. Do we want to do any more um, uh, pre-establishing of relationships between yes, different please, characters? Yes, please, yes. Because I really want to know how, um, let me see if I can get the name right, uh, how Easterlil uh, uh, interacts with and copes with being in the same party as um, Alaric. Uh, that is a very good question. <laughs> Do you think I would know of your late husband? Uh, I would believe so. He uh, is originally from Baldur's Gate. He is from the uh, from the noble part of the city. Um, he taught at the magic school there. He was one of the masters of illusion, the, the illusion school. Oh, so I would know him quite well mm -hmm. then. Would you have been in one of his classes at some point? How old was he? 
Uh, he was a wood elf, so he was kind of, I was going to say, maybe about 278 years old. Possibly, because I, I went to the school and then graduated and then became a professor there. So he, they could very well have been there. He was someone that taught me illusion. Um, so that would be nice to know, at least have a tie in that way with you in some ways. Mm -hmm. I am totally okay with that. Oh, and um, uh, JJ, I wanted to ask, uh, because of uh, if if Alyssa presents as having like kind of, you know, having having newly come into weird magic and everything, mm -hmm. and because I don't think Alric would be uh openly sort of curious and ask about it, but would definitely, you know, politely inquire because he's a noble so he can't say anything direct, otherwise he'll die. Um just about like, so you know, like what do you know about what do you know about this stuff? How's it been treating you? What's been changing? Yeah. What's up with you? <laughs> yeah, I think Glissa would be pretty open about uh knowing absolutely nothing. Mm. Uh, but yeah, except that she can do what she can do. Mm. So, yeah. That would be a weird acknowledgement of like, same, but I'm not. I'm not willing to admit that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, uh, Lisa, won't pry, won't pry about it, but yeah. would be open to discussion. Good to know for future reference. You'll also see in like one of Arwen's <laughs> one of Arwen's books, there would be like. Project 742, and then scratched out and Lissa. Because <laughs> at the beginning it was like, this is something new I need to experiment with. Oh no, it's actually someone who's a real person. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's, yeah. Nice. Right, and great, with Requiem. So they the, do they title themselves as a historian? Um, most likely followed by the qualifier of a sorts. <laughs> okay. It just goes out of their way to be the most mysterious fucker in the room. <laughs> Not really. Oh, she, just, she just doesn't know what she's allowed to say. <laughs> she doesn't want to compromise the mission. Hmm. There would be like interest there of like, well, I I find myself. Oh no, wait! I have to make sure I don't do this heath voice. Oh god, <laughs> I've set myself up for such a tightrope walk. You did. You've you've made two two rich boys with too many names and Listen. strange voices. I need to remember that Alaric is an asshole, where, whereas Zahif has redeeming qualities. <laughs> He presents as asshole to survive. Alaric generally. Yes. <laughs> I, I do believe we have shared interests in that regard. In that case. Oh god, his voice just makes instantly want to punch him. Good. I'm just having first game Zahif flashbacks mm -hmm. where I was like, I'm going to fucking hate this character f forever. And in, then, you know, I love him. And I no hope that that happens with this. I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> Wait till my father hears about this. <laughs> Wait till my father hears about this. <laughs> I think it's good that you didn't make him blonde. <laughs> Yes. Christ. The things I know about your father would curl your hair. <laughs> also, occasionally, uh, Tim Curry from the Clue movie vibes. Oh, dear God, yes. <laughs> oh, good shot, Green. <laughs> Very good. Very <laughs> good shot. Oh, no. No, as in no say. body. Mr. Body's body is gone. <laughs> I... In I in, I sincerely apologize if anyone hasn't seen the Clue movie because you're missing a vital, a vital part of just human existence. I'm so down to host us watching Clue again for like the oh, for the millionth time for me. I have I it's, it's it's been many 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 years since I've seen Clue. Like I don't even remember it. 
I think I think it might be my favorite movie. <laughs> Genuinely, I, I've seen many clips, but I've never actually watched the whole thing. Oh, it's so good! It's so much better altogether than it is in part. Mm. Even if you've seen the flames on the side of my face, yeah. which is undoubtedly the best moment in cinema, and it's... saving, saving breaths. <laughs> but seeing it all put together and the ending <laughs> oh, I actually have an idea about how uh, Istolil could have been involved with the group to become a member oh, yeah, of the sure. group um, I don't think if we have you... members necessarily yet, it's more like a loose collection of people uh, yeah, your loose collection of noble uppity types coming down into the lower city <laughs> I, making problems <laughs> <laughs> and this weird half elf that we keep around. Weird small green half elf. Project 742. Mm -hmm. a, so... <laughs> a green half elf and a nun. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you guys coming into the lower city, and like, maybe it rubs people the wrong way, and they don't get what's going on. And maybe Istolil can be like your go between between the lower city and the, your group, whatever. That makes sense. He's our mm -hmm. safari guide. We do need a token lower city person <laughs> to fulfill mm -hmm. the hiring mm -hmm. standards. How will we interpret what they're saying? It will just be nonsense to us. <laughs> yep. What is what is this hot dog that you're trying <laughs> to serve us? Jeeves, my word, the <laughs> poor have resorted to eating dog. <laughs> uh, this is going to be like three parts hilarious and one part he's just restraining himself from running <laughs> through with a sword. Dude, dude, do restrain those urges, please. Not I love this. Point. Okay, that's great. We're all level one. We are all level. You could, we could, we can kill each other as easily as we can kill any of the enemies that we're facing. That's yeah. very true. <laughs> <laughs> Only things you can competently kill: small animals. That's, that's it. That's the list. <laughs> yep. We can. If anything has more than two kittens worth of HP. <laughs> gonna take a couple rounds yeah right. you, you guys can make careers for yourselves as rat catchers yep mm -hmm. oh by the way alex just got online oh cool Rip. so i'm asking him please hop in here they they their alarm did not go off apparently <laughs> oh, oh well, i'm gonna grab a snack really quick then gotcha, gotcha. sure i will take a chance to Gobi, Jonathan. I'm back.
Hello. Oh, I was wondering why it was so quiet. I was like, can I know? Oh. oh, people were away. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, people were away. Okay, what's up? I got really wide. Like, did I break something? Mm. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, cool. Hi. Sorry. Hello. You My doing bad. all right, bud? I, I feel like a dickhead, but. <laughs> it's okay. We haven't gotten started yet. <laughs> Yay. I was I was more saying, are you all right for needing an alarm to get up at this time? Oh no 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 no! no. Um, this was, it was the alarm just to remind me that I have a game. Um, I I, I, I woke up uh like eight hours ago or something like. Oh good. Okay. Like a reasonable time. Wait. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna but... pull the receipts by reverse by tell by figuring out how when you woke up from that, but know that I respect you. Well. To be honest, I'm surprised I got up when I did, but just because I spent, um, I, I didn't get home till five a.m. because I was Oof. drinking. Ah, I see. Okay, so, and it all falls into place. <laughs> yeah. So your boy may have had a nap as well. <laughs> Very <Really>? valid. <laughs> was that though? I had the greasiest chicken I've ever had. Ah. Oh! oh, okay. So you was... were you were dead. Mm. You were a dehydrated mummy in the morning. Oh, just, just a bit. Ooh, could I get a filling up? Could I get a separate notes page, Lido? Sure, sure. Okay. All right, Alex, are you feeling up for telling us about your son? Yes. Just, just quick elevator pitch, Delio. He came from the land down under the city. He's Hell just, yeah! He's just a trashy boy. Um, essentially. Depending on how long, if you've lived in Baldur's Gate for more than a, a certain amount of time, you have heard about weird, weird rumors of like a lizard dumpster diving or a, a, a lizard wearing like that seem to be have like white, like unkept hair. <laughs> um, also, around the winter time, things may have also gone missing. Uh, like warm coats and stuff like that. Um, but he, uh, he's seen mainly during festivals, uh, out in the open of um, a black dragonborn in dis disheveled, unkept like clothes. Uh, and he always seems to be like talking into one of his pockets. Like fairly absentmindedly, <laughs> um, yeah. He he never really caused any troubles, and nobody ever really caused troubles for him. He he's a local cryptid, is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm assuming Journey might have heard of him from the rumors. If you were Journey, you were from the lower city. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, I could easily see um, Istoli having heard about him, and maybe. If there ever was a problem keeping anyone or everyone away from him to let him have his space, because that is what the lower city is about. You so, leave people alone. So, Lido, 
Yes. You know, I said, like, there's probably a guard or something that knows about him that just says, oh, he's fine, he's harmless. Mm-hmm. Can we just make this? <laughs> like, because that, that seems like a fairly, like, valid, like, way of what sort of roping me into character connection as well. If that's cool with you. Mm-hmm. Just, just instantly being your advocate. Just, oh no, that's just the local weirdo. <laughs> like, Basically, so like his name's Rat, mm-hmm. um, and he also has a pet rat called uh, that. If uh, ever asked of his name, he will loudly exclaim, "This is Sir uh, Archibald Pizza Eater, Stealer." So, oh, oh my word, <laughs> he is Lord. Oh yeah, by the way, does, does Sir Archibald wear a hat? Did we decide on that? We decided that he didn't. Uh, like, I don't think he, he Rat could find like a hat that would suit him. <laughs> like, <laughs> it needs to be the right hat. <laughs> yeah, like, if he ever gets money, it's just like, can I make hat with this? <laughs> I'm picturing a tiny top hat. Mm. Well, I, I, I sent... I guess I can put uh, Archibald into the um, NPC channel. Is is it Pizza Rat, Alex? Huh? Is it just Pizza Rat? I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> You've made Pizza Rat. Congratulations. What's Pizza Rat? Who's Pizza, pizza Rat? Pizza Rat is a meme. Never heard of it. <laughs> It's pizza. It's pizza. Don't worry. I'm, I'm googling it. Uh, but it's uh, does um, Alaric like go into the lower city or outer city much? Hmm? Oh, Alaric, Alaric. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'd say probably not more than he needs to, and when he does, and he's he's in one of those um like mini palanquins, does does not want to be t- direct face to face with any commoners. <laughs> yeah, I think because like Arwen will go there if he needs to, but it would never be his first, second, third, fourth, fifth option. <laughs> I, He's not snooty, it's just that he doesn't feel like, I, I have everything I want in the upper city, why would I possibly need to go to the lower city? Yeah. Makes sense. For um, Rat, it's sort of like, he, he, he would, I don't think he would ever like make it past like a boundary of the upper city. Like, mm-hmm. the moment he would step through, like, alarm bells start going off somewhere. <laughs> Of just like, oh, this arsehole is trying to get the good food again. <laughs> you don't have to go through the gates. There are other means. Oh, I'm not saying he's not been to the upper city. He's only <laughs> just ever seen the bottom part of the upper city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you need a secret passage, I'm sure Istolu can help you find one. Hmm. This is the sort of rabble that we're paying guards to keep out. But you, you have caviar here. Caviar's nice. Mm, that we purchased with money that we have because we were born into the right households. I'm certain you can scrounge something up. You are what you eat after all. <laughs> so you're so nothing I... but hot air. And I am pizza? I don't like either of those suggestions. Hmm. Fish. I'm hungry again. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I like rat. Rat's great. Oh man. Oh, this man. is gonna be a great party. <laughs> there's there's already a, so much going on. Um <laughs> I, I, I actually never sent you the uh, name of. I never actually like told you about the employees that I uh, later <laughs> about uh, the place. 
Is this about the pizzeria? Yeah. Did you come up with names and stuff? Um, not like not yet, but um, like I was just, I was just wondering if like <laughs> how like how because sorry, who who's the person that I like I apparently get along with right now? <laughs> not Dan, the other one, uh, Jerry, or Jerry. I, it's Ready? been a while. Yep, I'm it's sorry. okay. Maybe right there. Hi, JJ. Hello. Yeah, Jen. Oh, I can actually make this much easier. Let me just shorten my name. Sorry. <laughs> uh... Oh no, that's perfectly fine. Uh, it's it's a if it's not a name you you recognize or know, it'll be difficult to pronounce because your brain wants to go in like five different directions. Mm. <laughs> Um, and also, what's your character's name? Because I, I feel like there'd be some overlap between, like, how much, like, from from the sounds of it, at least. Mm. Uh, his name is Istolil. He is a drow, and he's a sort of like activist, upstanding kind of vigilante who looks after people in the lower city and then the outer city. Oh, so we might have actually crossed paths once or twice, like while you've like been like underground or something. I'm just like, hi. <laughs> yeah, probably more than once because uh, during the daytime I kind of have to go underground. Hmm. Because drow light sensitivity. I don't like the light that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that works. Yeah. So like I would say like I rat like wouldn't doesn't really care for the other people no matter who they are like he's just like I I live I eat I I'm good very like bare necessities sort of person um but like it's more of like if anyone starts causing shit with him he'll cause shit with them. <laughs> Um, uh, also, you'd also see him like walking around with a chair leg. Just, oh. just, just a chair leg. Brandishing it as a, as an implement of death. No, no, just the chair leg. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit like disheveled now. Like what was once probably a beautiful like bar stool is now just a chair leg. <laughs> Yeah, like the veneer is peeling off in places. <laughs> mm. Oh man! Uh, but I, I also sort of imagine, like, from that relationship, it's also where he, well, like, maybe you found a way to get him a scimitar or something and trained him how to use it properly. Because I need a reason for that, and I don't realistically know how that would actually come about. I also feel like, like whilst all having these conversations, just behind us is Requiem. Just <laughs> they're there. They're just a present. <laughs> they are always there. You turn, and they're just there. It's uh, Requiem's just a sheet ghost standing behind you, twenty four seven. Wait, who's Requiem? They are in all the pictures. Every time you take a picture, right. they're there. Should we just say character names for Alex? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, wasn't here. So. That's okay. At go. Yes, no. Same order as before. Arwen, gnome wizard. Hello. Oh, Alaric von Rausch, human warlock. <laughs> Damn that second name. Good to you, sorry. Requiem, tiefling paladin. Mom. <laughs> your new, your new mom. Look forward to it. <laughs> Keep him entertained, otherwise he will wander off. <laughs> Give him a puzzle. Can I eat puzzle? Journey. Journey, it's you. Journey. Journey, it's you. I can't believe Journey's Journey. dead. Journey's gone? Journey's gone. We lost Rip Journey. Rip Rafa. Journey is still ill. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sad boy. JJ? I, I am a uh, Lissa. 
uh, bird and sorcerer. Cool. Hey, baby. Baby. All right. Wrath dra Black Dragonborn. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, Black Dragonborn Druid. Oh, I see. Not Ranger or anything else. Nope. One with the trash. I was, about to, I was about to ask you Druid Circle, but then it's, it doesn't happen until second Hello. level, does it? Uh, I, I already know what I'm going to be picking, if you're okay. curious. But... No, that's what we can find out in time. Hello, Journey! We were just doing re-saying re, re our character names and races and classes for Alex's benefit, and then I think we're, good. we're about to start. Oh, we're, we're going to work out what kind of sketchy shit y'all have gotten up to in the past, now that we oh, all know who we are. Okay. Yeah. All right, so y'all have done some shit, and some NPCs are going to have dirt on you, <laughs> is oh, what no. we're going into. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to read these straight up descriptions just because they're good. These characters are all that's left of a group that strove to change Baldur's Gate and failed. Now the city's leaders or other pow powerful figures seek to stamp out the last motes of their movement. Perhaps they were rebels or members of a union or some other clandestine organization. Regardless, the rebels didn't get where they are by being oblivious or merciful. So I'm going to post the menu here. Uh, Do descriptions. Oh, now I can hear everybody. That's great. Wait. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All right, so conspiracies. Opportunities to subvert minds and deeds exist throughout Baldur's Gate. When an opportunity presented itself, the characters seized on one in particular. Describe the particulars of their conspiracy, either by having the players craft it or by rolling on the details table. Uh, trying to see what would actually work. You know what? I'm just going to link you to this particular section of the book. Okay. Yeah. We're feeling that I like the idea of failed coup or conspiracy. I was thinking conspiracy, yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, I know for Rat, it's gotta be like a mile long of theft, but like, well, this is meant to be something we we oh, go involved with, with together. So it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, so this is how this is sort of setting up our dynamic oh. for the uh, for the game. Okay. So is this just a group consensus? We pick something yep. off the menu and yep. roll? Mm hmm Roll and draft ideas. Hmm. What's everybody feeling? Place your votes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are going to pick something out, and then I'm literally going to roll to find out who knows about your shit that you got up to. <laughs> okay. So, so we're, fig we're figuring out the details ourselves, and then you're rolling to see for other stuff? Yep. Yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm to interrupt. Oh, no, I was going to say, like, it looks like each one of them has roles. Like, conspiracy has six roles, like, murder has four roles. That, those are just ideas. That's like, if you can't come oh. up with something, this is what we're going with. Is there any particular category that we're looking at? Like, I, I, I'm currently looking at conspiracy, must admit. Mm -hmm. Same. Conspiracy would work with my character as well. Yeah. I think so would, like yeah. lower stakes than straight up just murdering a dude. <laughs> yeah, I think uh uh the conspiracy or the first item on failed coup interests me, but that's just me in particular and that may not fit for other people. I haven't looked at failed coup yet. <gasps> yeah. Because that's basically my character, <laughs> but just I don't want to make that the group decision because 
It's just so oh, bitch. You got relics. You got some. Can I get a fucking uh <laughs> oh. relic? Can I get a boneless relic? <laughs> and it says the parents of the relic. Are you sure you are you sure you want that relic boneless? It might. Yeah, I'm afraid all of our relics have bones. There's no choice in that matter. Well then, I guess I'll take the bone in relics. <laughs> Just because of the wording, the fifth theft, you absconded with them, but now the smuggler who stole them first wants their booty back. He oh. bag that ass up. This one's the patsy. I do like the, the second one on Conspiracy. That would probably be my vote on the if we're going with conspiracies. About Mando Mandokai's mansion? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. I'm just gonna read oh, it. I kinda like that. Yeah, you knew yeah. something powerful lurked within Mandokai's mansion. You and the others sought the tools and rights to prod the power within to draw it out and make it yours. But what lies within the mansion refuses to ever serve again. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that I like that. Right. <laughs> that would be I good know. for my character, though. Cool. I, not, not gonna lie, I feel like if we do do conspiracy, which I feel like we're all leaning slightly towards, yeah. like, Rat is just like the innocent, like, I'm here to have fun and food. <laughs> like, no fucking do we pick, going on. Do we pick the roles or do we roll the roles? I think we can pick the roles if we want. You can, yeah, you can pick them. Yeah. Are we, JJ? How are you feeling about about conspiracy and what's been discussed so far? Yes, I agree with the conspiracy idea, and I do like the Randall Kaiser Mansion one. Okay. So it's a conspiracy right. we have. I think it's lads. It's treason. <laughs> That's one way to die. So how do we want to do the rolls for this? Yeah, you can either roll for it, or you can pick like which part in the conspiracy you played based on what seems most appropriate. Mm, okay, gotcha. I'm feeling like the premise is possibly a, a me or down thing in terms of wanting to possibly... Yeah. I feel like you had the knowledge, I had the access. Yeah, I think I think even if we partnered that up. Um yeah. so, so does that make you co leaders or what are the roles to say? Yours was the voice of this fellow the call I hated. I think I, I'm not as crazy about the, the descriptions of the roles. I think just Yeah. Yeah. Vaguely figuring out where we all fit in, like I'm, I'm, I'm just sort of thinking, like, like am I ever like an a, innocent affiliate or witness? Like, I just saw the shit going down. I'm like, eh, this looks fun. And <laughs> you were, you were just dumpster diving in the alley next door, and you saw like <laughs> weird lights and sounds happening from this house, and you're all like, ooh, what's this? <laughs> Basically. Just wandered in. Hello, it's me. Yeah, like, like all the shit. Like, cause I assume like you guys, like, I just followed you guys in, and because you I, clearly had a plan, and it's like, eh, we'll see, see where this shit goes. <laughs> I kind of like partner for Estolio. Maybe his husband knew about the conspiracy, and because I don't know, he's dead now. Maybe Estolio was talked to or something. Hmm? Mm, okay. Could also be that you knew about it because maybe your partner was the one in on the deal and he probably shared mm, it with yes. you. Yeah, that's I actually like that a lot. Hell yeah. Because that would fall into the fact of, okay, so me and Alaric would obviously have seen this and then I would have thought, oh, actually, this would have been... We would have possibly used your partner in this for the illusion magic, etc. now that he's gone, but you knew of it, so you wanted to still carry it out in his name. Mm. 
Yeah, one of the last things that he wanted to do that he didn't get to do because of reasons. Yeah. And then Lissa would obviously, I would ask Lissa if they would want to do it because it's another adventure and, and hopefully Lissa hey, would be want to do some crime? <laughs> oh, always up for crime. <laughs> And then I also feel we would be like, well, I don't know how we could possibly get Requiem in on it, except for yes. the fact if Requiem has said that they were curious about history and has had some ties with me, I could have basically said to Alaric, listen, we need someone strong because I am a gnome yeah. with a tiny owl <laughs> and you are would, <laughs> you. Which would make maybe... Yeah, I was thinking affiliate. Because it's like, no, no. Yeah. I don't want to associate with these people. However, everybody, I'm assuming everybody on the team is shorter than me. So, <laughs> <laughs> must protect people. Uh, how tall is Requiem? 6'3 uh, without the horns. Oh, okay. Um, Istolil is 6'2. So close. I had a moment. I know. Uh, so I'm okay with being affiliate and just like kind of called in to be half muscle, half half walking dictionary. <laughs> like yeah, you you're you're our, our reference library on the job. Uh, Slash. I'm, I'm your fit. <laughs> the reference library with strong arms. I'm 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 your I'm your archive. Hello. <laughs> I, I feel like if Rat was to stand up straight, he would be six, like six six. Jesus! But, but he has a constant. He just hunches everywhere, so like he's like six foot maybe. Does he do raptor arms? Yeah. Hell yeah! Like fully like. Eh. He's like a kind of velociraptor stance at all times. Yeah, basically. Yeah, nice. All right, Journey and I have worked out something terrible. Oh no! And oh, great. God. This conspiracy conspiracy is the method by which Istalil's husband was killed. He was there. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. No. And also with uh, Istalil, um, like. I have no idea, like, if you guys would have planned, like, oh, okay, after we discover this thing, do we try to escape? And then maybe, like, that's another reason why Rat was maybe brought in. If, like, if we think, like, they just wandered in and had a... <laughs> I just wanted to find out what was going on doesn't fit, if you guys think. Ah, fuck. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 There we go. Hello. I can now kind of hit people again. Yeah. I, wow. I think... Discord is having issues. Yeah. yeah. There's something about his API yesterday. Oh um, yeah, that thing. Ah. Hmm. Um. But I, I was, as I was saying, um, in case like we want to do an actual reason for why Rat was there, like maybe. You guys needed a way to escape, and Rat knows the sewers better than like maybe ninety percent of people. Mm, okay, he was the getaway driver. I was just about to say he's the getaway. <laughs> mm. Well, getaway is a strong word. <laughs> he'll he'll move you to a new location, <laughs> and uh, keep you away from the shit that goes bump in the sewers. But yeah. So I'm okay with changing it to like was the getaway. Uh like was to, was to escort them once they left, but tagged along to make sure they actually came back. Alright, cool, cool. Is that everybody that has a role in this? I think so, yeah. I believe so. Alright. consequences. Oh no. That's the thing. Uh yeah, do we want to pick something? Do we want to roll? Do we want to come up with something else? How did things break bad? 
Well, we know one of the consequences, apparently. Yeah, a person died, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Number four is terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, this is, we may have to do something kind of just ignore the trotter because these all seem to be for mm -hmm. a individual. Yeah. God, did <laughs> number four is interesting though. Maybe we all knew each other really well before this happened. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. And now we're starting off from just about zero. Oh no, that means that Leto could like Taz balance us though, and that would hurt oh, my feelings. Isn't that good though? How, Wait, how do Taz people feel about that? It's a D and D thing. How, okay. how, do pe how do people feel about that idea? I don't know. Are you comfortable letting me have that much power <laughs> over your characters? I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, Leto? Let's go to hell, yeah. Leto. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Our our character NPC relationship for this particular character, I trust you so much right now. Oh my god. This is very Istolio's husband is having right now. <laughs> Istolio's husband's dead. You can't do anything else to break him. Go for it. Sure. Are you certain? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny, the last person who said that. <laughs> Ow. Journey, journey, oh journey, oh. <laughs> Last person to say that in one of Leno's games. Didn't have such a good time. I, I, I've given like Leto basically nothing when it comes to like emotional NPCs. <laughs> like, well, I say basically, but. <laughs> and I mean, I'm saying I think it's more like we all have our own backstories, and that stuff is like you know is is sacred, but it's. Well, like we had more of a relationship with each other, mm. and that's that's now gone again. If people like, are into this, like I don't have a backstory for this character, so legit, hey, Lenjamin, go fucking ham, my dude. Hell yeah, I'm I'm down for that. Like we we like because uh, obviously a conspiracy doesn't go off of a, a like some modicum of planning. Mm -hmm. So maybe over that planning, we built up a relationship, and then. Like mm. the thing that found that we found, just said, "Ah, no, <laughs> screw your minds." Yeah, whatever happened? Yeah, Ooh. whatever happened. Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh. Famous last Oh word. gosh. Okay. Uh, that the conspiracy. Uh, that the conspiracy are. Mm, mm. Oh, I don't know if this works. Hmm. Dumpster muffins. Rats I steal food out of the trash and I eat it. Gotcha. Dumpster muffins? That sounds, yeah, like I... a, that sounds like a really weird uh, term of endearment that would exist in like a setting where uh, people are bugs. <laughs> you're my little dumpster muffin. Aww. <laughs> oh. Oh, you don't mean oh, I just stole a banana nut muffin out of the trash. Nice. No, I'm Love that nut. Smash the uh, capitalist agenda. So, how long ago is this conspiracy supposed to be? Is it like it's it's happened recently, or is this like a past thing? Well, that's up to us, dude. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say because if we're supposed to be an established group. But we lose our memories of each other and still somehow remain an established group. How does that work? Yeah, I, I, I have an that. idea. I had an idea for that. Okay, that, that you guys agreed, like, just in you going into this, going into this conspiracy plan, just breaking into the mansion and stuff like that. You had pre-established a place to meet up like either the next day or several days from there mm. and you guys don't remember each other but they, you guys remember where you were supposed to meet <laughs> oh okay uh, so we, oh, we're gee. all there for a reason but we just you're all there for a reason but you just don't know 
Yeah, yeah okay. maybe maybe there's something like as as someone who's a scribe, maybe there were like notes for me to like meet here and and notes of names. Mm. But I don't actually know what they mean, but it's yeah. my writing and. Oh, that's weird. I like that. And I, I, I like the idea that we kind of have like some idea of who the others are, but like any nuances to the relationships have disappeared. It's like, oh, this person looks familiar. Where, do, where the hell do I know this person <laughs> from? Yeah. Oh, that means all the progress that we would have made in me not punching my hoity toy <laughs> noble yeah. friends is gone. Yeah. God, I want to, I want to break your nose immediately. But ah, there's something. What does it feel like I've met you before? What does it feel like I've broken your nose before? <laughs> <laughs> I get a free pass, then, right? <laughs> this is How... great. I support this. Mm, I'm down. How would that work with Estelil's husband? Like, is he just there and then he's dead and you don't remember? Oh. I think it's more memories of each other, right? Like, we're not... This isn't re going back and forgetting about our past. No, not that he doesn't remember that his husband exists, but, like, doesn't remember mm. how he died. Does he remember that he's dead, mm -hmm. or does he think he's gone? Like, what memories are we talking about? That's a good question. I think that's up to Journey. How much into that you want to get. This is what happens when you attempt the DM journey. Yep. I'm yeah. totally fine with this. I'm going to be of the mind that Istolil knows his son's husband is dead. He knows uh, what caused his death, but he doesn't know why. Okay. Mm, okay. So he knows uh, like the events, but he doesn't know why. Like, why his mm. husband was there, why he ended up dying. Like, he doesn't know details. So, yeah, he doesn't have... He, he knows the events that transpired, but he doesn't have context, basically. Exactly. Cool. Oh, and I just thought of a really horrible thing. Lido, I'm sending it to you. Please. <laughs> Oh god, Journey. <laughs> Journey, thank you for this gift. <laughs> You're welcome, this is great. I will have to unwrap this later. <laughs> but thank you for this gift. I've shaken the box, I have a pretty good idea of what's in it. Yay! I helped. It's probably gonna hurt me, but I helped. No, it is. There's no maybe about it. I don't know what I'm doing, folks. I've just stabbed myself in the foot. Yeah. All right. So, so getting into like how this shit. I got a roll for who the what the fuck NPC knows about this. Because mm. that's important. That might shape some interactions immediately. Oh no. Okay. Cool. So, so, how getting into this adventure and stuff like that, and that was the reason why I said that it would be interesting if you guys didn't remember a lot of what happened during the actual conspiracy going down, but you did remember you were supposed to meet in a place. Uh, Baldur's Gate has been undergoing some internal troubles recently. They've been getting a lot of refugees showing up really suddenly, and so the guard presence is lacking. They need independent contractors up in here. And the Flaming Fist being a mercenary company, they're allowed to conscript people. 
So I was thinking that like like you guys were all just sitting in the same general vicinity in this like cafe or restaurant or something. And you guys were like sitting together enough where people might think that you are a group and you were just told, hey, report here tomorrow. <laughs> Excuse me, good sir. Oh, we're not getting into like play yet. This is just the idea. This is just okay. set up, dude. Just, just letting you know what Alex's reaction yep. would be. Yep. Like, actually, I need to talk to your manager. <laughs> it's like, no, no. This is this is how it is. This is what you're doing. Is there food? <laughs> There's money. <laughs> money can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't take convincing. It's like that does not need to be convinced most of the time. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. But obviously, if people would prefer, like, like if we do go with that, then. Then again, we don't. If we're getting conscripted, we don't have a choice, do we? We just have nope, to. nope. <laughs> it's uh, Baldur's Gate's it's a sketchy it. place. Yep. The authorities very sketchy too. <laughs> you respect my authority or die. Pretty much, pretty much. Mm. I have another D and D campaign where I just left Baldur's Gate. <laughs> All right, so I think a quick break, and then we can get into this proper if we're down with that. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool.